So how do you get the most out of your training sessions with your dog? Hi everyone, welcome to today's episode of Dog Sense. Now, if you've ever watched a dog training tutorial or tried to teach your dog something complicated, you'll know that there are usually multiple steps involved. It's not always a linear process. It can look different for different dogs and ultimately can seem a little bit overwhelming or confusing. So I'd like to talk to you today about how can you make your dog training sessions a lot more effective. First of all, there are a few reasons why it's important to think about how you are organizing the time that you are spending training your dog. The first is that we want to be able to maximize the efficiency of learning. You wanna make sure that your dog is learning as, as best as they possibly can. For most people, we also have a limited amount of time to spend on training our dogs. For, for me, it's, for sometimes that might be as little as 10 to 20 minutes a day. And so I wanna make sure that I'm getting the most out of the time that I'm spending working with my dog. Many of us might also want to be able to progress at a fast rate. You want to get to the goal behavior that you're trying to work towards at a relatively quick pace. But I think the real benefit of doing this is that you learn how to be a better trainer so that you can troubleshoot problems as they come up in the course of training and make the adjustments that you might need to make. So the first tip here is to organize your training session into short sets. A set can be anywhere from one to two minutes and you will decide before you begin the set exactly what it is that you're going to be working on. What is the behavior that you're expecting your dog to do? How will you cue them to do it? How will you deliver the reinforcement? And so this means that you're organizing the time that you're spending working with your dog ahead of time. In any given session, you might do from two to four or five different sets. It depends, of course, on the experience and level of your dog and, and how long you've been working with them. So let's take a look at an example where we can break down the behavior of fetch into three different sets. The second tip is to make sure that you're walking through mentally exactly what you'll be doing before you get the dog involved. So what I typically do is when I arrive into the place that I'm going to be working with my dog, I put my dog in a downstay and I mentally trace exactly how I'm going to get the dog in the place that I want them to be in and how am I going to cue them to do the behavior or the task that we're working on. And I do that by myself without first bringing the dog into the picture. This is helpful because it gives you a chance to collect yourself and think through your own actions. Our behavior is just as important as the dog's. So if we are fumbling and making mistakes, that will impact how smooth the training session is. And doing a dry run might also help your dog do better because it creates a routine that is familiar and predictable. Another tip here, of course, is to keep the total training time short. You want it to be anywhere between 10 to 15 minutes per session. Now, of course, you can do multiple sessions over the course of the day if you've got the time to do that. But the idea is that if you're working in these short bursts of training, you'll find that your dog is able to consolidate what they're learning far more quickly than if you were to have a 30 or 40 minute training session once a day. In the long run, you're going to make much more progress working in short periods of time. When I was first starting out with training my dogs, I found that I would spend a lot of time training them and it wasn't always very productive. It sometimes led to frustrations for, for both myself and my dog. And I found over the years that less really is more. So I hope you enjoyed some of these tips. If you'd like to see more, please make sure you subscribe to our channel and let us know in the comments below how it is that you organize your dog's training sessions. How do you work with your dog? Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.